Another day, another mouth breather award. I know, I know, guys, it's only Thursday, but uh, I've been watching this unfold throughout uh, the last few days, and I wasn't going to make a video on it, but this is just too freaking funny, guys. I absolutely love this. So apparently, Donny Cates decided to attack the comic shop owner who, out of a 30-minute video, did a two-minute rant about why he thinks that Marvel and DC aren't doing so well, and it is quite funny. So guys, if you like what I'm going to talk about here, do me a favor and have some fun with me, because that's what this video is ultimately about, and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. And if you guys have a great time with this video, share this video with everybody that you know. I don't have a fancy little animation for it, but that would be the absolute best thing that you could do for this small YouTube channel. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So uh, Donny Cates made this post on Twitter or Twix as I like to call it, and I'll put it up over here. And uh, he, this isn't the win he thinks it is. In fact, this is what I, well, it is a win, but it's a win of a mouth breather award. You know, well, what's a mouth breather award? Well, a mouth breather award is awarded to those people who say things, right? And they don't realize that their intellectual capabilities never quite developed enough, so they haven't learned to breathe through their nose. So hopefully after being given the mouth breather award, they have an epiphany and one day they go, and they start to breathe through their nose finally. It would be a wonderful world if everyone could learn to breathe through their nose, but let's get into this, guys. So Donny Cates goes on Twitter and wants to uh, post a win that he doesn't think it is and says, man, don't you just hate it when you go into a hardware store and the guys tell you that uh, that hammer sucks? It's like, boy, um, Donny, <clears throat> as somebody who frequents hardware stores regularly for house projects, Actually, I love it when people say that, you know, for those of you who've ever been to a hardware store, you walk in and you usually get a guy, he's like, hey, can I help you find anything? And, you know, if you're in a rush, you say, yeah, yeah, I need to find this thing here. I'm, I'm looking for this specific thing. Go, Sweet, let's let's take you back. And they go, all right, cool. It's like, well, we've got the like we've got the really good stuff over here. We've got the not so good stuff over here. But if like if you're on a budget, like I get it. Generally, that's how they present it. Now, if it's a tool that you're not used to working with, you start asking questions and the guy's like, look, if you want quality, you're gonna buy this brand. It always works. It's gonna work for you. If you want something that's only gonna be around for like a day, it, it's gonna get this one project done for you. You buy this stuff over here. They're like, but you know what? Everybody's got their different price ranges. And then there's stuff that's in the middle. Every single hardware store, hell, every store you go to does that. Like, this is what's known in the industry. Now, for Marvel writers, you might not know this, okay? I'm going to drop some knowledge on you. This is what's called customer service. <gasps> Let me say that again. Let me say that again. Customer service. I know it's this new thing that we found out about in the last like I don't like you know a couple thousand years. It's very very new. It's a totally new concept that when somebody comes into your business and somebody who you you want their business again, you do this thing and you guide the customer to the things that you think are going to most benefit them for what they're looking for. I I know it's this really new concept and it, it's really really funny that you think that a guy telling you that a bad product is bad and you're probably not gonna like it is a bad thing that th um hmm that that's really interesting but going through this whole freaking thing what surprises me the most about this whole situation is that it's blatantly obvious now to everyone and has been for a very, very long time that the mouth breathers are in charge. The mouth breathers think that they know and the mouth breathers have no idea what customer service is. You know, these are the guys that you want to see on reality TV shows of those god awful reality shows. We took this multi-millionaire and made him work a day job for four hours 
and made it funny. You guys remember that crap? Do you? Oh my god, those shows were horrible. Can we bring those back? Like, just put them on YouTube because YouTubers will make them even funnier. Can we get some of these Marvel like pros and these guys who nobody knows who the hell they are to just go work a customer service job one day in their lives? Like, just just once. Is that a freaking thing? Because again, this is not the win that you think it is. As somebody who has had to work in customer service and guide people to the products that they want, I haven't had to do it in many years, but I still had to do it. Yeah, it was my job at one point in time, and it is many people's jobs around the country, around the world, to guide these customers to the products that they want that are going to most benefit them and that fit with inside their budget so ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts on this and do me a favor i want you guys to comment down below with the funniest stuff that you can i want you guys to share your retail experiences down below with some of the funniest times that you've helped somebody find a product that would most benefit them or just meme on Donnie Cates, because let's be honest here, this is somebody who has never, ever been into a hardware store once in his life. And I just think it's funny. And you go, well, drink with crazy. Dude, why did you have to comment on this? Because now you're getting into the blue collar stuff. And let me tell you right now, there's a lot of nerds out there who are blue collar guys, who if they saw that tweet, they would go, Donnie, Donnie, let me learn you something about hammer. Donnie, do you know how to find, do you know how to spot a bad hammer? Do you know what sound they make, right? Do you know? Guys, if you know the sound of a, of a good hammer versus a bad hammer, let me know down below. And as always, I just wanted to have fun with this video. I, I think this is utterly freaking hilarious that people want to try, who, who they've never had real world experiences, try to tell those of us who have had real world experiences, about a real world experience. It's almost like they're bad writers or something. Huh. I guess it, I, I guess their bad writing lives on Twitter now too. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are just having fun with this stuff and just poking fun at the people who obviously have no idea what customer service is, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. I read all of your comments every single Sunday. And man, this has just been an absolute crazy thing to watch it, through the whole week. And if you guys are interested, Mike Millar. Uh, yeah, 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 MM, yeah, f uh, sorry, Mike, yeah. Anyway, uh, absolutely did a great, did a great uh, freaking interview with him. I watched it the other day, so go check that out. Uh, and shout out to those who are backing this and shout out to those who are in customer service who know how to provide good customer service. And as always, until next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.